Hi guys, so this uh, video is just a recap of my attempted teardown of this uh, infinitum desulfator. Uh, you can read uh, the full details on my blog. I'll just post the link on this video. Uh, I've been using this uh, desulfator for almost two years now and uh, I should say I'm satisfied with this product. I use it for my car and I have no battery problems whatsoever since I started using this unit. Uh, on a weekend uh, or one weekend I, as I was doing a routine check up on my car I noticed that the green light indicator for this unit is off so meaning it's not working so I uh, pulled this off uh, took it to my workbench to see what was uh, wrong with it okay so this unit really solid and I mean really solid if you read my blog post already you know what I mean okay so I just uh, opened this unit uh, using a screwdriver like so like that and so this comes off like so okay and then I saw this sorry I saw this so this uh, whole unit was filled with uh, some kind of epoxy or resin okay. so at this point when I saw this I really had no hope of being able to repair this okay. and uh, one thing I noticed why this unit failed is because of water damage apparently uh, uh, water has creeped uh, on this uh, on the side of the unit because it's been raining for a uh, couple of days and uh, it's just uh, positioned in a way inside the hood of my car that water can get through so I immediately saw some moisture here okay. I don't know if you can see that clearly but uh, this uh, area right there has a portion of like uh, not completely filled so that uh, water was able to creep inside the unit Okay, so seeing this one, I just opted to see more of what's inside. So I opened the other side like that. Okay. And then, no surprise, it was filled all along okay. with uh, the tracing. Okay. So I didn't stop there uh, with the Dremel cutting tool. I just cut here on this side and then on the other side. And so the top cover came up like so. Okay. So as expected, this uh, completely filled up with the resin. So here you can see. I think it's a transformer or coil. Okay, as you can expect from a uh, diesel filter and so uh, I attempted to remove the whole block completely uh, putting it on a vise I was able to do that okay, I just pried the side like that and then this whole block came off like this I confirmed the damage right here so this area is not completely filled up this is some kind of paper or insulator and then this area as you can see from the pictures I took was completely damaged okay there were water damage here the PCB traces were or the copper traces were lifted off the board okay so later on I have to do some reconstructive uh, 
soldering on that but before that I have no intention of being able to repair this so I just opted to maybe crack crack this a little more so I put it again on the vise and luckily for me okay, the water seemed to cause a crack around this lock see there all around so as I was trying to crack this open this whole back portion right here just came off like so okay so right now the copper side of the PCB is visible anyway I'm not interested to know the circuit inside and I at that point I immediately saw the real extent of the damage okay. so this area right here okay, this seemed like uh, it burned to the PCB so the trace was cut off also this area right there so I just put some jumper wires there uh, as well on this side okay and at that point it's it's just I guess uh, that's the only thing I can do okay. so I tested the unit again to see if it will power up and it did so let me just uh, quickly show that to you I just connect this to my power supply let me adjust this a little bit so you can see it okay so let's just uh, connect this one So you see, the unit is now powering up. But just to confirm if it's really working, we have, I opted to see it in the scope. So let me just show you that quickly. Let me adjust the camera. Like so. Okay, so I'll just connect the probes to directly to the output. Okay, so I'll just probe it directly on the output. Like so. So there you see, it's uh, the pulses are visible on the scope. So, things working again. Okay. Uh, well, so that's it for this uh, uh, video. Uh, if you want to know more details, you can uh, visit the blogs. Uh, there are some detailed pictures on uh, how prepare I repair this unit. All that's left now is to find maybe a good enclosure for this one okay. and this time uh, it's gonna be watertight okay so if you have any comments on this video or just uh, let me know and if you like this video let me know by giving it your thumbs up Bye for now. Thanks.